my channel. My name is David. If I look tired, it's because I got twins. I got new. <laughs> if I look tired, it's because I got newborn twins. That's what. <laughs> So yeah, I'm very tired. What I would like to do is I want to say thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for all the support. Also, I got a brand new computer chair based on what you guys probably saw by the title. I gave my other computer chair to my daughter because now she's getting into PC gaming. Well, mostly Minecraft, but either way. I bought a new chair and I wanted to open it up, assemble it with you guys. It was actually very cheap. I paid like $104 for the chair. I bought a fake leather one. The only reason why I went with that, I, I bought a cloth one originally because I wanted it to be more comfortable and not so cold. You know, uh, I decided to get a pleather one. I told my daughter, you know, she wanted me to buy her a new chair. I said, look, I'll give you mine because mine is only like a year and a half, two years old. And I need something that's easy to clean because they, my hair stuff is just destroying the headrest of my other one. So, uh, so hopefully this will make a difference. Um, also, I picked up a couple more things uh, this week. I just, nothing really big. I'll show you guys what it is. It's not nothing spectacular, but the most important part of this video is I need my chair so I can edit tomorrow because I have nothing to sit on except yeah. for my stool. That's what I'm, that's what I've been using for the past week and a half is this stool this is actually the stool that i bought for my tool room oh man Ugh. man i'm beat man i feel like i just got back from the game uh, I, I got a couple of things that came in uh, this is actually a uh, generic uh, action cam like a generic fake gopro i need another camera for my car uh, i misplaced my other one and i have no idea yes, where it is so that's what i got here's the chair what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up these things here i'm gonna go with this camera open this up explain that and then we're gonna assemble this chair my here's this camera that I picked up I'm not a fan of these 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 kinds of like knockoff I mean I'm very cheap and you guys know that by now I went by reviews on Amazon you know when I when I want something that I expect quality I go by high reviews and I sift through it so this thing had like over 3,000 reviews like 3,600 and something or like 4.7 4 or 4.8 stars which I thought was incredible so I mean you're gonna take a lot of Chinese people to put that many fake reviews so here is the box it comes with filled with like accessories as you can see i did not open any of it it's still packed in it pretty good uh apparently comes with a mic uh my expectations for this are so low i might not even be disappointed it comes with a remote turn it on and off that's actually supposed to be on your wrist uh here's uh the stuff i'm going to be using for my car all right so let's get to the good part i tried this camera out already uh, i still have the plastic on it i didn't really go full out and try it i mean it's very light so you can tell it's a cheap ass camera i didn't really take it out for a spin yet as you can see there's no sd card in there yet i just turned it on and see what the settings were it does say 1080p 60 which is more than i can say about my gopro that i had the old gopro and my original action cam that i started my channel with only went at 30 frames and this thing goes up to 60. i'll be happy with the 60 frames the 60 hertz much better than the 30 that i had before the thing that's cool about this right it actually came with two freaking batteries so like i said it's just a car cam i don't want anything expensive that can get stolen you know what i mean this way the only most price the most high priced item that i'll be able with a camera will be the SD card that's about it that the 128 Samsung uh, this thing here I picked up because I really I, I, I could have made one of these but I, I just wanted to buy it ready just have the professional end on it but I bought this because I needed this to reset my computer's BIOS every single time I try to increase the voltage on my CPU I ended up like freezing my computer so basically you gotta kind of like everybody out there that messes around with the BIOS in the computer they know what I'm talking about all right let's open this up guys right, so like I said there's nothing special going on over here this was a cool, interesting find, which I thought was really strange. So if you look at this, right, it says 65 feet uh, LEDs, and it actually has like an RGB thing, which I don't care about, is the white color. I only want the white color. I bought it because, ready for this? I paid six dollars, I think, and fifty-seven cents for this. I'll put the price on the screen for you guys to check it out. I have never in my life seen anything that cheap before, ever, for this many LEDs. So what I would like to do is, I would like to put a strip of these underneath my desk, underneath it, like hidden in the back. Something that's just going to be very like low-key, nothing that's going to be too ridiculous, uh, and attach it to my motherboard. Here you go. I'll put it up on the screen. My motherboard actually supports this type of LEDs, so you can actually control it through uh, a program and if I understand I know it has one on the phone and it also has one on the computer and you can adjust the LEDs to whatever color you want so when it turns on it turns on the LEDs as well uh, it comes with these crappy you know typical crappy controller the cool thing is it's black that's a good thing this is a certified hood classic all right let's open up this dang chair man I I'm dying to get a chair I don't have a freaking chair man I must have yarned like five times already <laughs> 
turn this video up. I think I got all the tools that I need. I'm not sure. I got uh, my drill. I might need to grab another one. I got this for the screwdrivers. I got this for torquing in case I need to do some nuts or something. Uh, I got my tack life like star that I use. I, put, I actually use that on my electric ratchet. I got the adapter right here. So I always have this for any type of, you know, screwdriving materials. I got this from Harbor Freight. All right, so let's open this up. Let's do it. So if you guys see me talking to myself, forgive me. It's just I'm, I'm like seeing double. gonna use these tires I'm actually not gonna use these wheels uh, they're pretty cool but I have some other ones that I bought a while back they're like super cheap and they have like a hole in the middle Strangest thing is that I have never seen a chair. This is actually my fourth chair that I've, I've actually gathered. Second gaming chair. And I've never seen these without Loctite on them. This is so weird. I'm gonna put a crap load of crazy glue on it. All right, that's good, that part's done. Um, the cool thing is I noticed about it is that it's got it's got a zipper like my other one was made out of cloth like fabric I don't know if it had a zipper on it But that's so freaking cool because now if I were to take the back off It's a lot easier to add the rumble feature to the to the back piece now, All you'd have to do with a hot cutter is you would just cut into the foam and then insert your rumble feature Right what I would do with the chair is I would have something with a cable going up to the ceiling with like an, a spinning arm So this way if I were to turn the it would be a small arm that would actually turn with it it would be down like in the center and it would, the arm would go out that way and then the arm would swing as I would move in the chair and it would be like one of those like uh, coiled cables so this way it would be able to be moved around you know what I mean it wouldn't be just hanging with 10 feet of cable but that's awesome Here, here's the chair like I said I, I'm not putting the wheels on I gotta go upstairs and take them off my daughter's chair and bring them back down on this one obviously when I add the uh, the coil and the rumble feature I'm gonna add some LEDs so I'll show you where I'll put the LEDs I'm not gonna go freaking crazy like most people oh, so there's the chair uh, you obviously you can see that it's just got an indent right here from the box like you know fake plastic that will straighten out eventually so look at the chair i mean it's beautiful for a hundred dollars it definitely it definitely has a uh, much lower quality control standards now for their beats for their beats for their beats why you being a dick <laughs> 
nicely because I, I can see things that, you know, if you paid $400 or $300 or 270 something for this chair, the quality standards would have been a lot different. It almost looks like it was a second type of thing. Uh, these things are hideous. I mean, there's no denying that. They literally did not do very well in the molding. These here are the same situation. It's not perfect. It doesn't bother me. I mean, I could always buff it out, but I did notice there is a few imperfections on this chair. But like I said, it's one of those things you have to kind of like understand that you are adding, uh, you're getting a, a budget chair, you know what I mean? So this is where I would put the LEDs. I would actually drill a hole right here, insert an LED very nicely, very flush mounted so you wouldn't be noticed. So when the chair was actually on, it would just flash, shine down some LED from, from the top of this down. It would look so nice. I'm happy with this chair. I think it's dope. So much black, it's throwing off my white balance on this thing. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys enjoyed building this chair with me. Uh, I know it's probably not the most entertaining video. So anyways, I want to say thank you to you guys for watching. Thank you for watching me build my new gaming chair. I'll put the link in the description if you guys decide you want to buy it. Like I said, it's super cheap. And uh, I've, eventually, I'm going to be adding a wish list to my YouTube description. And you guys can see everything that I do on boxings. Anything that I show, you guys will have it in my wish list. And it'll be a public wish list that anybody could see. And that's where I'll put all those uh, all the stuff I show so you guys can go in there and just grab it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to love life be kind and stay away from evil son peace i am a prodigy i am a leader they follow me i am a prodigy i am a leader they follow me